Kansas agriculture officials sent out an urgent warning to cut down dead pine trees right away. The state is actually trying to stop the spread of pine wilt, and there are some other problems as well. Chris Hernandez is just back from checking out those dead trees. Hi, Chris. Yeah, Krista, a new pine tree can cost you 250 bucks per tree just for a smaller one that's barely six feet tall. So that cost adds up fast if you need to replace several. And right now, many people are finding lots of dead trees. Traffic whizzes by on Flum Road, and these dead and dying pine trees don't do much to muffle the noise or hide the view. A couple of them look like they, they're far too gone. I mean, it would be nice, you know, to have them replaced. John White sees the ugly trees from his front yard. Pine trees are in trouble across the KC area. We are not in evergreen heaven. K State Extension agent Dennis Patton says there are several problems rolled into one. This Austrian pine suffers from tip blight, a fungus that kills it from the bottom up. An old saying we like to use in the horticulture business if it's brown, cut it down. Because this tree that has the disease has the spores to infect other plants. The state is warning people to cut. Cut down dead pines right now. Some have beetles that will emerge by May and can transfer pine wilt from dead trees to healthy trees. You know, the pines are a mess. That is probably the best way to say it. Pines have shallow roots. The recent switches between really wet and really dry weather is stressing the trees. So it's too much water, not enough water, too much water, not enough water, and eventually the tree just collapses and dies. People love pines for the year-round green, the nice look, and the buffer they provide. But part of the problem is that they're not native, so they're not really supposed to be here. When you cut down pines to stop those beetles, be sure to burn the trees or run them through the chipper. That will destroy the bugs. Don't just cut it up for firewood and let it sit around because the beetles will still be there, still alive. In the newsroom, Chris Hernandez, 41 Action News.